I am teamed up with Carrie Fry the Freak again on another river, not the Detroit River, but the St. Joe River six band stretch for the Tackle Shack Fall Brawl. We got a huge turnout, October 30th, day before Halloween. Thousands of dollars get paid out. So we're gonna go have a blast with smallmouth bass. I think you got an over. You got an over on your drop shot. Huh? That's fish number one. I told you I was fishing with a freak. He says, Andy, enough of your spots. Let's go fish my spot over there. And boom, keep one number one. That a boy, Carrie. Right at Carrie Fry, pulls it to our spot. Look, look where that fish spit out. Now I got one too. We're having a blast with all my bass. Gosh, Carrie Fry. I need to pick up my blade bait. Picking it up and just. Dang, there's another one. He was always starts swimming to the left of the Got him? Yeah. Huh? Dab yeah. gum, we got a blade bait bite going here the day before October, or excuse me, the day before Halloween. St. Joe River. Have a blast with us while I'm there. Three in about ten minutes. Don't tell anybody because there's like three boats around here. Oh, here comes here. Fine. I got my blade bait totally embedded in the net right now. I haven't seen him yet. Also, I'm getting close here. There we go. Now he's on my glove. <laughs> Big bass today is worth a thousand bucks too, Gary. Gary, that's, tell me what's, what we're looking for. Tell right me what's going on. Tell them. What do we what do you find in here? What's happening? Okay, so the river is up right now. Current's been moving pretty good. And that's an area that I usually catch them on an A-rig out deeper. Well I came and checked it Tuesday and I got bit on a good one on the seawall. So what I'm thinking is with the river being high and the river current as much as it is they've actually pulled up to the seawall and that's where we're catching them when I, we just pulled up and we get the bites really quick so we'll see what we can do here on this spot we got four over just like that like 10 minutes 12 minutes That's careless fishing, but he wasn't going to help us. So why put him in a net to get tangled up with the blade bait? Carrie will probably tell you I'm an idiot in a minute. But that was my thinking there, and there's another one anyway. He's a little tiny guy. He's he's our under. Yeah. So on the St. Joe River, you get four fish that are over 15 inches because slot limit, but you can keep one under 12. He's going to be close, and if he's 12 inches, it's going to be a nice one because he's a pretty good thick fish for under 12 inches. We'll see here. I'll, I'll measure him up and see. He can't hit the 12 inch line. Hmm? So he can't hit the 12 inch nope, line. can't even hit it. Oh. See, my problem in life has always been I catch too big a fish. He's 13 and a half inches. What are we thinking? Yeah. 
can't believe not a single person pulled up on this spot. Anything where you get like genuine emotion, you know, nothing stays. I came in today thinking that vibrating baits would be a big, big player because of the the rain and the fact that the water's a little muddier, uh, and and certainly the blade bait is a vibrating bait which produced a whole lot of fish today. But really, our two biggest came from Kerry in a drop shot. Munching. And when he gets too many bass, know where he keeps them? Right inside that thing. Slot fish, but the action still, action still here. I think we had pretty high expectations today, being the time of year and the river and, and the smallmouth really picking up today. But this past week, this area received a couple inches of rain, and the water is literally about two to three feet deeper than it was just a week ago. By the way, everything we use today is in the description, and there's so so you can see exactly the baits we use in the setup. Also below are some promo codes to save you a few bucks. Rather, it's uh, boat equipment from a Megaware, uh, drop shot ways of 418 fishing, or pretty much any lead head you can think of made by Bite Me, Bite Me Tackle. See that I wish this thing was only 11 and a half inches. We need that over. Ain't no way. Um, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, thank you guys. Um, hey, I don't know. We need that undercarry. Get out. I think he's still well. okay. Come on. Cut off his tail. Yeah. Ah! Ah! That ain't right. Fish are too big to keep. Oh. Are you coming this way? No, well, that's why I thought. That's why I stopped here. Okay. I see you facing this way now. Yeah, I got this. Yeah. It ain't very big. I don't think it is. It's bigger than that guy. Here we are, last 25 minutes of fishing. Maybe another call. Overall, I think Carrie and I had a decent day. We caught a lot of fish, but uh, what we did in the fall brawl, we'll see. Carrie, what's your prediction? I don't know, we couldn't catch that under. We needed to call a couple times. Man, we'll just gonna have to wait and find out. We did have some pretty glorious moment this morning, thanks to uh, Carry putting us on that spot. Well, like a dummy, I forgot to bring the camera up to the weigh-in, but I can tell you our big fish weighed 404, total weight 11.35. I don't know where that puts us yet, and we're still weighing some fish. But it's a crazy thing about this river and the slot. We don't have that one fish under 12 inches, which is going to cost us, you know, what minimum of 12 ounces. 
11 ounces. We'll see what kind of difference that made for us. Now, not having that under. In fourth place, earning $360, 10.65, Mason Alvarado, Chase Laughlin. In third place, earning $720, 11 pounds, point thirty-five goes to Andy Buss and Carrie Fry. Thank you very much. He likes to hide. <laughs> Thank you. Second place with a total weight of 1194, payout of 1080 goes to Mark Hammond, Nate Collins. And that means that your winner today with a total weight of 12.57 goes to Lee Duraj and Terry Burgess.